Hello Taurus, this is your spiritual guidance reading for September 2017. Your major arcana card is strength. Um, I did notice when I pulled out all of these cards that most of them showed up within your other readings. Um, strength, adversity, and the moon actually showed up in, in your other readings. So I would definitely check out um, your career and money reading and singles and couples readings, which whichever one... Um, meshes with you. So strength being in the center or the major arcana card, it's about you being strong, taming your lions, um, having confidence in yourself is what I'm hearing. Uh, confidence that you can get through, that you're strong enough to, to do whatever it is that you need to do within your life, that you have your own individual talents that support you okay on your path adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn and they are they're the best way for you to to realize how strong you are where you came from who you can and who you will be you also have ask and it's his ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Very interesting that it says universal laws because by the book it's about um, the laws of the universe as well. So it's just about going with what spirit wants from you. Ask for help. Ask for guidance that you don't know. Pray through it all. Have faith. Okay, because you're on the path of growth, which we'll get to your cards here in a second. Guardian Angel is here to let you know that you are being supported. Okay, you are being supported and you are going to receive messages. Definitely with this card. You're guided to where you need to be. It's just for you to have confidence in the situation and know exactly where you're going. You have surrendered to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so your spirit, your your guardian angel definitely wants you to know that miracles are possible, okay? Um, and it's going to seem like a miracle. It's going to seem like it comes out of nowhere. But I'm feeling that it's all planned. Okay. It's all planned and for you. You just have to be strong and confident enough to grasp it. To have enough self-esteem or willpower to see. It's about that inner feeling, your intuition, letting you know that, that you have it under control. So I'm going to move to your cards. You have the moon card. The... Um, the star card yes sorry the star card and the three of wands okay so the moon card is about you moving out of fear moving out of fear moving out of being stuck and this is more to me of an instinctual feeling you feel as though this is something I've done before I'm just going to keep on the path it's been working for me but this is about stepping out of that fear confronting the things that you need to confront because you have dreams and wishes and the universe or I'm sorry divine energy God, your guardian angel, spirit guides are coming to heal you. This is about healing, okay? Um, hope, being renewed, having inspiration. But you have to be strong enough to follow this inspiration. Exactly pray. Know that things and challenges happen so you can learn what you need to learn in your life in order to move forward. You know, they have that saying about bad things happening to good people. But, you know, these things have to happen in order for us to realize we'd still be in the dark if we didn't have this adversity. Thank you for the confirmation spirit. And then you have the three of wands. The three of wands is about expansion, expression. 
being able to express yourself from the inside out, okay? Being able to move forward. It's like the early results to let you know that everything is fine. That everything is going well and you just have to keep forward. After the three of wands is the four of wands and that's about building foundations. Your first opportunity to celebrate. But first you have to get through this in this month and then it'll move you over into um, October which is the 10th month and and that is all about see the ninth month is about endings so September is about things coming to a conclusion okay completion and 10 is about a new cycle coming into being so that's what's going to happen for you so your overall oracle card is by the book I had to find it in the book okay Focus, 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 because you love me. <sighs> Maybe not. There it is. Okay, guys. So by the book is abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, and universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior. Reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time these laws, I'm sorry, this is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being a rebel and floating and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to these universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Thank you, Spirit. So be strong within yourself, Taurus, and it'll help you move forward. Okay, blessings on your journey because this was pretty strong for a spiritual reading. I do want to thank you for listening. I will see you next month. I love you very much. Love and light.